Hi there, I'm Mr Turner, Deputy Head Teacher, and I'd like to take you on a tour for our lateral flow testing centre. Students will come in through the main student entrance where there'll be portable hand wash sinks for them to wash their hands. They'll then make their way through to the hall where they'll collect their barcode and testing card and then make their way through to the actual testing centre which is in the gym. Once students have entered the school, they come into the hall here where there's a queuing system. At the far end, this is where students will um, speak to a registration assistant who will make sure that they receive one of these cards, which is important for their lateral flow test to be um, measured and recorded. And then once they've spoken to the registration assistant, they leave through the double doors and go into the gym. So this is our testing centre. Students will come through and stand on the cross as if there is a queue. Just over there, there's a white line where they'll wait and then one of our testing team will tell them exactly which bay to go for their test. This is our testing area. We've got six bays for the students to be tested. Each bay's got a divider for their own privacy. We just need to make sure that once students are tested, that they then leave following the arrows out through the exit and then they leave the school site by the sixth form gate. Come to your allocated bay and put your barcode in the blue tray. Sanitize your hands. And remove your mask. Then you blow your nose to remove any mucus from your nose. And place in the white bin next to your table. Re-sanitise your hands. And then check that you are able to locate your tonsils using the mirror. Once you're confident with that, then carefully remove the swab from the sterilised packet, making sure that you're holding the end and the cotton bud is nowhere near anything else. Then use the mirror and swab four times on one side, four times on another within your mouth, Carefully remove the swab so it doesn't touch your teeth, then insert it into one of your nostrils until you feel the cartilage and then rotate four or five times. Then place your swab carefully into the test tube. Then collect one of the antiviral wipes and wipe down your area ready for the next person to use this bay. Please make sure you wipe down the chair the table and the mirror. Once this is done, you are free to leave the test centre via the far side. Here is our schedule for the first tests for students. Students need to make sure that they arrive at their allotted time. If there is an issue for some reason why they cannot make the allotted time, please contact the school and we can make alternative arrangements. You'll notice that time is built in during every day for the test centre to be cleaned down and that's especially important between different year groups. We expect further testing to take place on these following days. It is dependent on how quickly we are able to do the first tests as to how we organise the testing for test two and test three. If we can, we will try to ensure that students get tested sooner, as we know that that reduces the disruption to their learning. Students will be called out of class in form order and then be taken to the test centre where they will be registered within the test centre rather than in the hall like they were for the first test. Some frequently asked questions. Students do not have to come into school uniform to get tested, but face coverings are mandatory and students must be social distancing the whole time. That is why we've got crosses on the floor and it ensures that we do not have students closer than two metres. As I said, if students cannot attend at the scheduled time or there's issues with transporting uh, siblings altogether, please let us know and we can make those arrangements. As you saw in the schedule before, Testing will take place between three to five days after the first test and then three to five days after the second test. We will keep checking to see how we can make the process as smooth as possible 
within those first two weeks. If your child doesn't want to do it themselves, if they're feeling anxious, all of our test site operatives are trained to be able to deliver those tests and support your child. As you can see from the video, the bays are private. So if they are concerned in any way, shape or form about someone watching them do it, with the exception of the test site operatives, that won't be the case. By the third test, we're hoping that students will be confident enough to be able to do the test themselves when test at home kits are sent out. You can withdraw consent at any time. However, we do hope that as many students and parents do consent to this test because we really hope that if we do catch asymptomatic students, that can reduce the spread both within the community and within school. And whilst the students are having the test, you can wait for your child. However, you cannot enter the school building. Worst case scenario, we're expecting one hour. However, we do hope that students will be able to move through much quicker than this. That is reliant on students attending their sessions on time.